Hey everyone, Adam here again. Um, I am going to be building a computer with the specific purpose of offloading my video capture that I do for my primary YouTube channel. I do a video game channel as my primary YouTube channel. And uh, I want to offload the capturing onto a separate computer. Now this isn't going to be like a super high-end machine. I'm not even sure the processor that I'm going to be using is good enough because uh, I was reading the um, system requirements for one of these capture cards and uh, it is the minimum requirement. So we'll see how that works. Well, I think it's a minimum recommended requirement, whatever, but uh, we'll see how that works. If necessary, I'll get another Core i7. This is uh, one of the older 1156 motherboards. Uh, it's basically the same one that I have in my, um, my bedroom machine, except it's made by Gigabyte instead of MSI. It has pretty much all the same features, same uh, age. I'm gonna be putting in uh, two of these, uh, well, four sticks in all, two packs of this. Uh, this is just Corsair uh, DDR3 that I'll be using with this machine. Um, we're going to use an Intel Ethernet card like I always do, Samsung SSD like I always do. This is one of the older ones. I bought this on eBay recently. Um, comes with like a giant box for some reason. I guess this probably had the uh, adapter kit. Yeah, it has the insulation kit included. That's why the box is bigger. Uh, that's not an 850, that's an 840. Uh, just be using a regular uh, Corsair power supply, which is pretty much what I use in all my machines in various uh, configurations. And then uh, I'm going to be using a dedicated sound card. I have a bunch of these Creative Labs. Uh, these are the x or whatever sound blasters. They work pretty well. I like them better than the built-in audio. They, and uh, this one has optical, which is important for me which the uh, built-in sound I don't think does on this. And then I'm going to be using, uh, this is a GeForce, I think it's like a 610, but it'll be more than what we need for this uh, particular application. Then we have our motherboard, which is a Gigabyte P55UD3. So uh, I'll have a better look at it in a minute, but you see it's, it's already got a processor. That's an Intel Core i5 590 or something 570 i think it's a 570 um it was like the original generation of uh the core the modern core architecture the core i5 so it's old but it ought to work this is just going to be capturing video most of the video capture is offloaded onto the uh onto these cards that i have and then um the last thing before we get into the cards here is this is a case that I, I kind of like the construction and everything the quality is okay on it the only thing I don't like is that it has this ridiculous LED strip here it's blue and very bright and I don't like that for a machine that I'm going to be using all the time but since this is only going to be used when I'm recording I really don't mind having a big bright blue LED and I already have it so I figured I might as well save a little bit of cash and use the same case again here so that brings us to my capture cards. Now I'm using two different capture cards and I have reasons for that. Uh, both of them are by Avermedia. The first one here uh, is the Rec Central Game Broadcaster HD. Now this one has the ability with this little breakout to work with uh, VGA and that's the reason that I'm going to be using. This is pretty much going to do all my analog capturing on old computers. Um, older consoles. The VGA is a nice feature because uh, I can hook up a old PC which I will do from time to time uh, just to make it easier to capture. I don't have to use virtual machines or anything like that to get like some really old weird game running. I can run it on bare hardware. It should perform better and uh, we'll see how that goes. And then uh, the second one that I have is the Live Gamer HD. Now this one has a pass through for HDMI. This is what I'm going to be using for my modern consoles. Um, I think it will work pretty well. Uh, we'll take a look at both of these cards when we actually get them out of the box. I've read some good reviews of this. Uh, right now I still use a Hop Hog. Uh, I use the Gamer PVR 1 and 2. I use the older one for the more analog stuff because it has the, uh, the component video and composite and stuff. Uh, but those have their issues. Uh, I got a lot of sound synchronization. I think it's probably because it's going over the USB bus and uh, it gets overwhelmed sometimes or something. And then I use Fraps for recording PC games, and that has a whole host of issues depending on what game you play with. So uh, basically, I just want to offload all everything onto a separate machine, get my audio recorded on a separate machine, 
It should help me with my audio synchronization, and uh, Fraps won't screw up games on my PC anymore too, which will be good. So um, well, I'm going to be running probably Windows 10 on this. I have Windows 10 running on all of my machines right now. Uh, I'm a little bit wary of putting Windows 10 on this particular machine, just because I don't know what the support for these two cards are going to be like. It's pretty much if it works on Windows 8, it should work on Windows 10. So I'm going to try Windows 10 at first and go back because I like Windows 10 a lot better than 8 or uh, I'm not even using 7 if I can help it because end of life on that is coming up in a few years, not quite yet. But uh, I figure well, Windows 10 is easily available for free right now because I have old Windows 7 keys and all that stuff. I should probably just try to get everything onto Windows 10. So I'm going to go ahead and bust out the motherboard, get that set up in the case. Uh, put in all the other cards and stuff that you've already seen me do a bunch of times and uh, we'll get to actually looking at these two cards after that. Alright guys, so uh, I got everything set up in the machine here. All Everything's wired in. I ended up putting in uh, two uh, one terabyte Western Digital Blues that I didn't mention and I also put in an old ID DVD burner that I had just because I couldn't find the blanking plate for the front of the case and I figured might as well put that in. So the cable manager's horrible because there's really no good way to cable manage it with uh, ID ribbon cables and I don't care so much about cable management as I used to. So this is the first uh, card we're gonna put in. This one requires uh, an Intel i5 750 and that's actually the exact processor that's in here. So it should work. Are these in English? Yeah these ones are in English. So uh, it should work so we'll see. Uh, we have the DirectX and all the RAM and everything we need for that. So uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, put this card in first. It's actually, I don't think this is sealed with anything. Yeah, it is sealed a little bit. I need to go find my knife. I'll be right back. All right, found my knife. Let's go ahead and pop this bag open. I don't know if they even make these anymore, either of these cards. I bought this one like a year and a half ago or something on Amazon, meaning to do something with it. But it was one of those things where it's like if your system ain't broke, don't fix it. Things are working well enough, and I just was lazy and never fixed it. It looks like it comes with a low-profile uh, bracket adapter, which I won't be using. Uh, audio cable, which I might. Some sort of, I guess this is a 3.5 inch, a 3.5 inch. Uh, this is the dongle that breaks out to the uh, VGA and the component. It comes with uh, some software and stuff. So set that stuff aside. Let's uh, try to bust into the actual card here. All right, so. Really tape. There we go. So since this one's going to be handling my uh, lower definition stuff, I think I'm going to put it in uh, the PCI bus. Like it's just a 1x PCI Express. I'm going to save the four channel for the other card and see how that goes because this is really never going to do anything high definition. Maybe technically high definition with some of the VGA, but we'll see. Uh, it does have an HDMI as well, uh, but I'm not going to use it for that. So we'll just pop that bad boy in there. Now, there's not a tremendous amount of space between this and the video card, so hopefully that won't get to be an issue. Um, if it is, I guess I could swap. Well, then it'll be near the CPU. I don't know what the best... I might want to swap this... Uh, I might want to swap this Intel NIC and put that down there because uh, the fan is going to be drawing air right from this capture card, and I'm sure it gets hot when it's in use. Now I don't want to actually use the onboard, I don't know if I've explained this, I always use the Intel NICs because uh, first of all I use BSD on some machines and Intel NICs are supported in BSD very well. Uh, Realtek sucks. When I swapped out the Realtek from one of my Windows machines, uh, I went from getting like a 60 megabit per second throughput to saturating the gigabit land. So uh, they work a lot better. I don't use the onboard uh, ever unless I absolutely have to. I'm going to try to avoid it, even though we're running into some card space issues here. But um, I'll put in a screw in that in a minute. Now, where is the other card? All right, so this one has a little bit more in-depth packaging in that it's shrink-wrapped and stuff. So this is the uh, Live Gamer HD. This is the one that will be doing the brunt of my... Uh, recording hopefully comes in fancy packaging look at that high-end stuff here not really but it was kind of expensive 
So this looks a lot more like uh, the uh, Elgato Pro or something like that. It comes with this really stupid button that I'm not going to use. It's like the easy button. Basically, you're supposed to hit that to record. So here's the card. I'm going to set that aside for a second. And see what else, what other goodies come in here. Looks like it comes with a gift certificate for XSplit. I don't know how, if that's a full a full installation or what. We'll have to look into that. Set all this stuff aside here. And by set, I mean throw. And it comes with manual. Drop the cable, pack it in here. So that's just a HDMI to DVI adapter. Looks like another audio cable, uh, another DVI to HDMI, and an HDMI cable. Now, the way that this actually is going to work is that it outputs from the video card on my main PC into this uh, card here, and then outputs back out to my monitor. So basically, I think I have to set up the audio that way as well. I might be able to work around that because I'd rather use uh, digital audio. That's one of the reasons I wanted optical audio, although the motherboard does come with optical audio. I looked at the back. Uh, I don't care. I still do. I use the creative over that too. So um, I'm going to try to hook it up with uh, the optical audio going from my PC to this and see how that goes. Now that might be a little bit annoying because I don't know if this PC has to be on then in order for me to use my speakers. I'll have to figure it out. Uh, that I, there, I'm sure there's a way I can configure it so that they won't do that. So uh, this card's all like tiny stuff. It does look like a lot like an Elgato or Black Magic, whatever the heck it is. Um, but that's a weird heatsink. I don't even know if it's a heatsink. It looks like I don't think it's really connected to anything. This I think it's just a shield more or less. But um, anyway, that pretty much completes the uh, installation here. The only step left to do is remove this stupid blank uh, from the back of the case. But uh, the only other step to do is get Windows up and running, which I've done a million times. I think Windows 10 installation... Um, I'm hoping I can just avoid doing the Windows uh, 7 installation and upgrading, because I do still have uh, the Insider preview thing, and you can upgrade that to the full version of Windows 10. So I'm hoping I can avoid having to install Windows 7 and then upgrading, because that will take like twice as long. Uh, but I guess we'll see how that goes. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you. If there's any problems, I'll add them to the end of this video, but I don't. I doubt there will be. This is all equipment that I've had, it, with the exception of that SSD, which I bought used on uh, eBay. Everything else is stuff that I owned, and then two new cards. So uh, I'll probably do like a second part of this video when everything's actually up and running, and just kind of demonstrate how I do my capture settings, how I used to do my capturing, uh, do like a full-on capture extravaganza or something like that but uh that'll be for another day i want to thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time